Contemporary Christian artist Leanna Crawford is coming to the Watch Year Opera House in Watch Year, Iowa, Saturday, June 29th at 7 p.m. Doors open up at 6 p.m. Advanced tickets are $15 plus tax, $20 at the door. Hey, it's Leanna Crawford, and I am so, so cheery to be coming to What Cheer, Iowa. It's going to be such a sweet night of music and praising Jesus together, and I cannot wait to see you there. All proceeds to support the Tri-County Food Pantry. Brought to you by the Watch Year Methodist Church. Ticket information can be found on the Watch Year Methodist Church Facebook page. The Keokuk County Expo Fair Kickoff Barbecue Cookoff is Saturday, July 13th. $100 per team, up to four. Deadline to sign up is Friday, June 28th. Cash payout is $350 to first place per category. Meal for the public starts at 5:30 with a free will offering. Be sure to sign up by the entry deadline, June 28th. Stop at the Keokuk County Extension Office to pick up a packet. Proceeds to support the Keokuk County Expo. Sponsored by Keokuk County Farm. Bureau. The fourth annual Travis Griner Memorial Tractor Ride is Saturday, June 29th. Sign up begins at 6.30 a.m. behind Griner Crop Service, east of Kyoto Water Tower. Free will donation. Includes lunch and snacks along the ride. Proceeds to Area 4-H and FFA fairs. The ride leaves Kyoto at 7.45 and will be a 60-mile round trip. Sponsored by Southeast Iowa Tractor Association Incorporated. It's the fourth annual Travis Griner Memorial Tractor Ride, Saturday, June 29th. And if you don't have a tractor, come watch along the route. everybody this is pastor jackie from be the light ministry and welcome to a little time of worship and a time to dig into the word tonight i'm excited to be here with you on steve shetler media uh tonight as we get started i just want to tell you a couple really exciting things that are going on at be the light the first one is this sunday June 23rd, we are going to be having our Celebration Sunday, which will be celebrating our three-year anniversary as a church here in Sigourney, Iowa. And so we want to invite everyone, everyone to come and help us celebrate. We will have one service on Sunday, June 23rd, and that will be a service at 10 a.m. So just one service this week, not two, just one service at 10 a.m., followed by lunch and fellowship and Fun. And so after our church service is over, we have a wonderful meal that we will be serving, um, as well as we have Rural Revival Coffee Truck will be there for all of your uh, coffee needs. And we also will have the big tent set up. And so there'll be plenty of shade. Uh, bring a lawn chair if you want to, but we'll have everything that you need and lots of fun activities for the kids, maybe even a bounce house for the kids and um, activities for the adults as well. So just come out and celebrate all that God has been doing through this ministry, how God has been using this ministry um, and this community to bring the word. So Sunday, June 23rd, 10 o'clock, one service followed by lunch and fellowship and fun. And when I say you are invited, I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, I personally, as the pastor of this church, invite you to come and to celebrate with us. Come and join us. Uh, everyone is welcome. So come and join us. Uh, the second exciting thing going on out at Be The Light that I want to tell you about is starting this Sunday, the 23rd, we're going to be starting a new sermon series. And we are going to be talking about the church. What is the church? And we're going to be, I'm going to be giving my sermons uh, based on some things that I read in this book here, which is called Rediscover Church, Why the Body of Christ is Essential, um, written by Colin Hansen and Jonathan Lehman. 
So I'm not going to preach directly out of this book, uh, but I am taking some ideas and the scriptures that I'll be using each week uh, in my weekly sermon will come from this book, Rediscover, Rediscover Church. Um, really, the teaching will be based, it will be, of course, based on scripture because we uh, we are a Bible-believing church, and so we'll the teaching will be based on scripture. Um, and then as another part of that, we will be starting what we're calling our growth groups. Uh, we know that in order for us to continue to grow as Christians, to continue to grow in our faith, to continue to grow in our relationship with Christ, that we need to be meeting and talking and um, sharing and learning together. And so we will also be starting uh, lots of small groups that will run for about eight weeks. And so you'll get to meet with this small group either one hour a week for eight weeks or two hours a week for every other week. Um, so four times for two hours to equal up then to those eight weeks. And so we have different different um, families that are hosting in their homes, as well as we have some groups that will be meeting out at the church. And everybody is welcome to join a group. If you've never been to Be the Light before, you're welcome to be a part of our growth groups. Everybody is welcome. And in those growth groups, we will then be doing the study guide for Rediscover Church. So um, we will have these available at the church or, of course, you can always go on you know, Amazon or wherever you buy your books and get one. Uh, we really, What we really want to do through this is to really dig into what is the church? And so if I ask you, what is the church? How would you answer that question? Um, I think back to different points in my life and uh, probably growing up when I was uh, still living with my parents and uh, in that you know middle school, high school age, if you had asked me, what is the church? I probably would have said, well, that's where we go on Sunday mornings, right? That's what the church is. That probably would have been my response. And then as I went to college, um, I went from being someone who went to church every Sunday to someone who didn't go to church at all. And so I really, what um, connection I had to church when I went to college, I lost, completely lost that connection. And then as a young mother, after I had moved here to Sigourney, as a young mother, um, because some very, very um, wonderful Christian mentors in my life, and you know who you are, uh, those wonderful Christian mentors in my life encouraged me to start coming to church with them, and I did, and um, I discovered so much uh, that church is so much more than a building. It's not some place we go. It's who we are. We are the church. Um, and so my faith really started to grow. And then I realized that Jesus actually wants to be my friend and that Jesus wants to have a relationship with me. And that part of that church, being part of the church of Christ, being a Christian, means gathering with other Christians. And so my definition of church has changed throughout the years. And I'm just excited for all of us to be able to get together and really rediscover what the Bible teaches us about what is the church. And so I hope that we'll be able to have some fun and to dig in deep and, and just let the Holy Spirit teach us about this beautiful gift we have from God called the church. And so hopefully you'll be able to join us um, as this summer out at Be the Light as we rediscover church. Now, before I get into the scripture, I want to just share a couple quotes with you. Um, and the first one comes from uh, Jonathan Lehman, one of the authors of this book, Rediscover Church. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he says, a Christian without a church is a Christian in trouble. Let me say that again. A Christian without a church is a Christian in trouble. See, we need each other as the church. 
we all have a different part to play in the church, but we need each other. We need that support. We need that encouragement. We need to grow together. We need to love together. We need each other as Christians. We need each other. And so we'll be dis- we'll be um, discussing what that means in the next few weeks as well. The second quote I wanted to share with you comes from a pastor, Pastor William Barclay. And he says that Christians are people who are drawn together because they owe a common debt to the goodness and the grace of God. We are drawn together because we all know and we all believe without a doubt that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, that Jesus Christ went to the cross, paid the price so that we may have eternal life with him, so that our sins can be forgiven. Um, And so we have that commonality. And so we gather together. We're drawn together because of that. Okay, so the scripture that I want to read tonight talks about the body of Christ. And so the church is essentially the body of Christ. And so I want to go to 1 Corinthians. So let's grab our Bibles. 1 Corinthians. And I want to read out of chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. So starting at verse 1, 1 Corinthians um, chapter 12 says, A person's body is only one thing, but it has many parts. Though there are many parts to a body, all those parts make only one body. Christ is like that also. Some of us are Jews and some are Greeks. Some of us are slaves and some are free. But we are all baptized into one body through one spirit, and we're all made to share in the one spirit. The human body has many parts. The foot might say, because I'm not a hand, I am not part of the body. But saying this would not stop the foot from being a part of the body. The ear might say, because I'm not an eye, I'm not part of the body. But saying this would not stop the ear from being a part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, it would not be able to hear. If the whole body were an ear, it would not be able to smell. If each part of the body were the same part, there would be no body. But truly, God put all the parts, each one of them, in the body as he wanted them. So then there are many parts, but only one body. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the foot, I don't need you. No, those parts of the body that seem to be the weaker are really necessary. And the parts of the body we think are less deserving are the parts to which we give the most honor. We give special respect to the parts we want to hide. The more respectable parts of our body need no special care. But God put the body together and gave more honor to the parts that need it. So our body would not be divided. God wanted the different parts to care the same for each other. If one part of the body suffers, all the other parts suffer with it. Or if one part of our body is honored, all the other parts share its honor. Together, you are the body of Christ. And each one of you is a part of that body. In the church, God has given a place, first to apostles, second to prophets, and third to teachers. Then God has given a place to those who do miracles, those who have gifts of healing, those who can help others, those who are able to govern, and those who can speak in different languages. Not all are apostles, not all are prophets, not all are teachers, not all do miracles, not all have the gifts of healing, not all speak in different languages, not all interpret those languages, but you should truly want to have the greater gifts. So what can we take away from this passage today 
um, about the church as the body of Christ. Just like our bodies made up of many different parts, our human bodies, different parts have different responsibilities and have different gifts that they that different parts are able to do. The church is the same way. We are one body under Christ. And that is every Christian. Every Christian in the world is part of the body of Christ. And every single one of us has our own unique gifts that God gave to us, that God created us, that God has a purpose for, for that uniqueness that he created in us. You see, God planned that. And so we all, as Christians, we're all part of the body of Christ. We're all part of the church. But we all have different different responsibilities based on our different gifts. Is everybody going to be a pastor? Is everybody going to be a teacher? No. Um, is everybody going to be someone who has that empathetic heart that feels everything that everybody else feels? No, some people have that gift. And I know some people that have that gift. Other people do not. Is everybody going to have that gift of being able to, to pray over people and to pray in tongues and to just really pray in the spirit? No, no, we aren't all all going to have the same responsibilities in the church or the same gifts for the church, but we are one body and it takes all of us. The church takes all of us. And so what I want you to, to really reflect on is um, what is the church and what, what is my part of the church? What, as a Christian, what is my part? And if you have a church that you attend and you know what, what your uh, gifts are and how your part, how you fit into the church, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you do not have a church if and you are looking for a church or you are searching for something, you feel like there's something missing in your life, I can tell you what's missing is the church. And so if you don't have a church, you are welcome at Be The Light always. Um, we are a come as you are church. Just come on in and I promise you that you will be welcome. You will be loved. And so we want to invite you to come. Um, if you are, if Be The Light is not for you, find another Bible believing church. But be a part of the group that comes together, that gathers together in Christ's name every week. Be part of that church because you're part of the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. All right, let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for all those who are able to tune in and who are watching this recording and listening to these words. Lord, we pray that the churches just multiply and multiply and multiply because all of the lost, all of those sinners are repenting and are coming to Christ, are being saved by our Savior, Jesus Christ. And so that the churches across this world are just overflowing because of the number of people who are being saved by you. Uh, Lord, we lift up our little church. We lift up Be the Light. Uh, we lift up all the other churches that are that are Bible believing and that are welcoming and um, that are doing your work and that are part of your body. Uh, Lord, we thank you for that gift, that wonderful gift of the church. Uh, we pray all of this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. See you sat or see a Sunday, June 23rd at Be the Light, one service, 10 a.m. Feel free. We'd love to have you join in our growth groups as well. Have a great rest of your week. Know that without a doubt, Jesus loves you, and so do we. Bye-bye.